This is Classic FM. Welcome to the Classic FM Roof Terrace. It's Jamie Crick here and I'm joined, I'm very pleased to say, by Jonathan and Charlotte. Thank Hello. you so much for coming to see us. Oh, thank, thank you for having us. And for seeing our view. What do you think? It's incredible. It's amazing. <laughs> I, yeah, it's really, really nice. Well, it's really nice to have you here with the album coming out very, very soon. Mm. What's it all about, the album? What have you put on it? Well, it's, we've gone for our classical crossover yes. genre and it's got um, some real classics on there like Ave Maria and Cancilla Terra. And then um, we kind of modernised it a bit with um, taking on Rule the World by Take That and Unintended by Muse. It's a real kind of mashup of different songs. I love the idea of this mashup. <laughs> it's, like, it's like being on Glee or something. <laughs> Now, the, your journey has been uh, extraordinary, and I know lots of people have talked about it, but I wouldn't mind getting you, your, your point of view for our, mm. our Classic FM uh, listeners and people <laughs> watching. It, it, it's an extraordinary trip you've made from school to megastars <laughs> in a very short time. How did it all start? Uh, well, how it started was um, back me, last March. Last, kind of? last year at some point, when yeah. um, me and Johnny were singing together in music class, and we'd been singing together for a music exam. And um, we'd spoke about like, maybe applying for some uh, competitions in the local area. And uh, I was uh, watching something back on the internet, and they were advertising Britain's Got Talent forms. So I applied with Johnny without telling Johnny. <laughs> and then I let him know that I'd applied. And he was like, yeah, that's, that's fine. I wasn't doing much of the time, so. So yeah, then we kind of just rocked up to the audition um, with having rehearsed a song only three days before, because we completely forgot that we'd right. even applied. And, um, and then the first audition happened and yeah. that was a scary day a little bit and, and, and there's this moment where on on the first when you perform on that first one Simon Cowell's a bit like who are you two you yeah. know he's a bit, <laughs> bit rude to you the audience are looking thinking what are you going to do mm. and then you completely completely amazed everyone <laughs> yeah. how did that that feel oh it was the change in tension in the room was amazing because there really was an actual tension yeah. in the room like and you could feel it when you're on stage it made it even more scarier but to when the reaction came after when we finished singing it was just like a wave of heads like suddenly rising when yeah. everyone stood up and it was just yeah it was incredible it's, it's it's sort of like unless you're in that situation it's like indescribable it's really yeah it's right. really difficult to describe now, now you're the Simon then Carol then said your voices really complement each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you have this obviously a woman's voice, a soprano, a very high voice. Yeah, yeah. So on your voice, where does it come from? You're what, 17? Yeah. And it's the voice of, of, of a man much older and an <laughs> opera singer and so on. When did you suddenly think you, you know, could, did that just something that's developed over time and you hadn't noticed in a way that it was that uh, good? Oh, it, I suppose so. I mean, um, I was singing before my voice had broken. And um, the teacher who was teaching both of us at the time, she just taught me through that, um, and it just it developed into this. <laughs> it, it's uh, extraordinary to hear. How do you then go and, as you say in the mashup, put your both your voices together? Because you must have to be quite careful to balance yeah. that out. Well, you think that I it's think really the, the different. The di tones of the voice, yeah, because we're so different. Equally. It works. It's really weird because we've never actually ever thought about oh, we should do this here, we should do that there, because otherwise it won't work. We kind of just do it and it works. It's it really weird. It yeah, out. I don't know, it's, it's so bizarre because um, the first time we actually sung together, we hadn't rehearsed the song. We were literally put on stage and told to just sing the song. We'd learnt our separate parts and we were just told to sing. And it kind of just clicked when we sang the song. So we hadn't, there was no kind of deliberation about what we should do, what we shouldn't do. It just kind of is. So the start of 2012, you were both at school and at the end of 2012, you're both you continuing study and so on? Um, I deferred my place at my musical theatre college because we were never there, but Johnny wasn't. And I'm just, I'm just not at school. But, yeah. but I mean, so you've ended up the year in a totally different place yeah. Yeah. with an album coming out, right. television stars, and you're going around <laughs> meeting all sorts of people doing stuff like this. Yeah. Uh, what, what does that feel like? It's different. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's different. It's it's mental. Like if you'd have asked us six months ago if this is what we'd be doing, it's, it wouldn't even have it wouldn't even have considered being able to do something like this. And I just think we're kind of taking it as as it comes, and it's just, it's just an amazing experience. And to be able to do it, well, I hope you have the chance to enjoy it as well. Oh my god, yeah, well, every moment. So far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, terrific. I'm sure this album is going to be in so many stockings. <laughs> this Christmas because it Hopefully. sounds like a really nice collection and you and I know you want to sing something for us now so yeah. uh, Jonathan Charlotte thank you thank you so much for coming in talking oh, to us Good thank you for having us thank you and take it away okay ready
Pechisa. <laughs>